for disrupting Michael Jackson's performance at the Brit Awards. It was alleged that children on stage with the American singer were injured in the scuffle. Mr Cocker is due to report to Kensington Police this afternoon. And we don't do the things you do. Jarvis Cocker has had no shortage of publicity following the incident a fortnight ago. His PR firm released these pictures, apparently showing the singer being pursued by one of the performers after he climbed on stage to disrupt Michael Jackson's appearance. Although Jackson carried on swinging above the stage, the organisers claim that several of the child performers were upset by the incident. The Cocker was questioned by police and will report to them again this afternoon to see if criminal charges will be brought. Although Michael Jackson described the British singer's behaviour as appalling, it's generated publicity for pulp both here and in the United States, a market they'd previously been unable to crack. If claims that Jarvis Cocker attacked the children turn out to be fiction, pulp are likely to reap a sizeable musical reward. Jarvis and police decided the pulp lead singer won't face prosecution for disrupting Michael Jackson's performance at the Brit Awards. But if it was justice for Jarvis, it wasn't justice. According to fans of Michael Jackson, Phil Bales has this report. He was up with the gods where he felt he belonged. Wacko Jacko, 40 feet up in the clouds, oblivious of the devilry at work on his act below. There, the more earthly and earthy figure of Jarvis Cocker was expressing something, hopefully just his opinion, on Michael Jackson's Earth Song. Fans and critics agreed Jackson's portrayal of himself as the saviour of the poor was over the top. But was Cocker's stage invasion justified, and did he assault three children? Rival fans continued the dispute here as they waited for Kensington police to decide if Cocker was saint or sinner. All he did was uh, wiggle his bum and then get kicked in by some bloke dressed as Buddha. What about all the things that you said we were to gain? On one side of the street, it's a case of what you did was right, me old Cocker. On the other, it's look at poor Michael, he's ever so sad. What you did to him was really, really bad. Pandemonium, fandemonium and even media demonium broke out as Cocker arrived for the verdict. During police questioning, he'd maintained, and the video bore him out, that he didn't touch a child. The police agreed. Jarvis Cocker has fully cooperated with the police, who've considered the complaints that have been made by the children, and have come to the decision that no action of any nature whatsoever should be taken against him. And for the so-called man of the people, relief that his name has been cleared. It's not exactly something you put on your CV, is it? <laughs> Child warrior. But would he do it again? Uh, probably not, given what's happened since then. No. And Michael Jackson? I wish him well, you know, I hope he sorts his problems out. Now, at least 4,000 readers bought Justice for Jarvis t-shirts. It's been absolutely tremendous. I mean, we've, we had a fax hotline open for a couple of days, and it was jammed solid for 24 hours as people sent in poems, letters, drawings, everything they could. At a packed news conference within the last hour, Jarvis Cocker expressed his relief that charges were not being pursued. It's not very nice uh, to have allegations of, you know, that you would go and assault children, go and punch children or whatever. Uh, it's, I know that not everybody believes what they read in newspapers, but some people do, and it's not very nice to think that as you're going about your daily business, people think you're the kind of person who'd jump on a stage and hit children. The singer says he's now considering legal action against those who accused him of attacking the children. Jarvis